What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and we're here for another edition of Get Coached Up. I'm here with BJ Hall, who's the assistant coach, the offensive coordinator at Canterbury Prep here in Pinellas County, and also owner and founder of Team Florida 707 Squad here in St. Petersburg, Florida. BJ, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for me. What am I getting coached up on today? Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of, you know, what I've learned in the Canadian League. I'm going to show you what I've done here at Canterbury Prep. And also, we'll go over some arena football plays as well. All right, let's get coached up. Let's do it right now. Uh, we got 50 Ray. Um, Ray means on the right side. Uh, we would like to run out of open. Okay. Because um, we run a lot of audibles out of our open set. So I'll draw it up now. And open set means empty? Empty. Okay. We call it open. Okay. Got to take the top off of this guy with our Z outside. Mm -hmm. Now Y, he pretty much has the option around 12 yards. He's running a double move and man. Mm -hmm. When he's running a sit down, it's based off the leverage. We got a guy that squeezes from here. If his zone, he's going to sit down outside. We got a guy, I'm going to say we got a safety here inside. We got a corner that's sitting. He's going to sit down and come inside. Okay. If it's man, he'll pretty much double move based off the leverage of the uh, strong safety of the linebacker. Okay. Or he has reverse halves. He's just working on the field. We like this in cover two. Um, you know, we get cover two, he'll pretty much split the seams, split both safeties. Mm -hmm. All right, here, this is our Y. This gives us our check down. He's coming over. If it's man, he's beating him straight across. Okay. If not, he's going to sit down right in front of the quarterback, two yards outside of the tackle. Now, he's running this with speed, right? With speed. He's okay. going now. See, the key of this whole thing, we don't want him to go straight up. We want him to go at an angle and beat him now on across the face. Okay. Backside. Pretty much our hot throw. Mm -hmm. We get cover zero blitz. We like to hit this right now. We get third and three, and they don't blitz, so it's second and five. Mm -hmm. We like to hit this right now. You know, this is this guy right here is pretty much is a good route runner, a nice size guy who has pretty good hands. You know, security blanket for us. Now your Y, how does he differentiate between your Z and your R? Um, well, R, we like him for him in this particular play to be a guy who can take the top off. Okay, clear out this for this and this. Um, our Y, our, he, he's pretty much a, a quick guy, double move guy, you know, in comparison of a Wes Welker type guy. Okay. Um, a guy who's pretty good at double moves, but also a smart guy who understands if he's on, he's sitting down mm -hmm. in a throwing lane. All right, what we got next? Um, I'm going to take him to some arena football. Okay. Um, now the, the concepts mesh a little bit, right? They're different. Certain passing concepts, right? Yeah, certain kind of concepts do mesh, but it's a little different. Okay. It's, it's a lot different. Um, three down lineman. Mm-hmm. Here's our Y. Our Z. And our X is here. And our quarterback. And our fullback. So our Y guy, he's pretty much our playmaker on the field. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much the guy who's pretty good in double moves. He's a smart guy, pretty fast guy, would take the top off. So we like to run him on what we call POCO, which is an option route, okay. which is a post or a corner based off the leverage of the safety. Okay, that means post, corner, okay. Right, so it, we call this a wide. So he's starting from back here. Mm -hmm. You know, he's working, he can come from over here, he can come from wherever he want. But traditionally, he'll start from here. Come here at about eight to ten yards, and he's either breaking post or corner. Mm -hmm. 
And we like him to be smart, we like him to be a vet guy because based off the leverage and the lift of the safety, it's not always high angle. We like for the guy to stay high angle, mm -hmm. but when you're on page with your quarterback, you understand, you know, we got a guy who maybe he's a rookie, maybe he's young. He likes to get out of that bail, mm -hmm. you know, throw him flat to the sideline. Okay. And pretty much, it's pretty simple, six yard hitches on the outside. Um, Cause you don't, want, you don't want those guys going deep into this. Exactly. Okay. So pretty much what we're reading here is this Jack in this play. Jack linebacker, he's here. If he goes here, we're pretty much reading the high low here. Okay. The Jack linebacker, he squeezes here, we're gonna read the high low over here. Okay. And now with your, with your Y, when you say the guy's sprinting toward that seat, is he reading his hips? Is he reading his back cut? Is he reading uh, his, his movement? How, how, did he, how is he determining where he's going with his route? That's a good question. That's why I say he has to be a smart guy because he's pretty much reading all of that. Wow. He's reading leverage. So, you know, if he's pretty much he's backpedaling and he's coming here, I mean, FYI, he's going here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You see him backpedaling, he's shifting here, and you know, he's pretty much going here. Um, you get a guy that pretty much does that, and you see him going, he pretty much has help back here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you pretty much want to read how low with this corner here. If he's here and this guy has help, and he's falling off, we're banging out there. But if we just so happen you want to you know, keep it safe mm -hmm. and you got a smart guy that's out here, that Jack reaches, we're still fine because he'll just replace the Jack and sit in his zone right in here. Mm -hmm. So we'll pretty much get back here. He bails. We don't like it. He runs that corner. We're pretty much sitting on our back foot and waiting on this to open up in the zone. All right, so we did traditional. We did arena. Now we're about to go north of the border and do a little Canadian, right? Yeah, man. We're going to take it a little north. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we call this Ray Four from Canada, man. Um, this is one of my favorite plays. As you saw before, when I put up, you know, I actually brought it down um, to the States mm -hmm. and, and run a traditional offense with it because it's, it's pretty good. We kind of get it from um, it's a Mark Tresman type offense. Okay. And um, I like it. So, pretty much our guys here. We have an R here. We have a Y. We have a Z here. A W. And our X. So, as you know, in Canada, you can have motion. Right. So, you know, our Y, you'll come here, rate four. It'll pretty much come down however you want to do it. And based off what covers they're running, he's either running up this, this hash here. So if we get cover three, mm -hmm. he's running up the hash. If we get man, he's running up the hash. We get cover two. And what in Canada, they call it cut defense. Mm -hmm. Or if it's cover three, they call it hold. Okay. It's a totally different game. We get cover two, we like that right there. Same thing, reverse hash. We like that in cover two. We like it in cover three as well. Mm -hmm. Cause we put a, you know, we put pretty much a two on one. Two on one. We come here, he's coming over. This is our check, check down guy. He's sitting down two yards outside that tackle, taking the, taking the top off here. So pretty much what you want to do, He's in motion, setting him up, got the backside slant. So pretty much, this is how you read this. So we get man coverage, put a lot of man teams up there. Calvary was a good man team. Mm -hmm. We got a good guy here that's pretty efficient. Pretty, you know, pretty good receiver. We'll take a shot with him and man. Mm -hmm. Get cover two, cut defense. We'll read it like this here. We know we got this here. We're gonna hit on the rhythm three out of the shotgun and fire on them. We don't like it. See, they get squeezed by a linebacker. Mm -hmm. We understand we have our check down here, so it's just one and two. So we'll, this is our one, this is our two. We'll check it down in the zone. Okay. If it's man, similar thing. It's depending on down the distance. You know, I may take that backside slant. If not, I may take a shot. Also back down to my cross or come across. So pretty much I would read it. This would be one, I'll stick with it. I never want to flip my hips and come from this side to that side. Right. If not, I go one to two. And him come across a man. 
And this would be essentially your clear out route. So this is like your, your quote unquote dummy route on this one. Right, right. And we don't necessarily, it's pretty much a dummy route, clear out guy. Mm -hmm. um, football one on one, you know, naturally you don't teach a quarterback to read this hill. Right. He's either reading front side, back side, and that's pretty much it. But once you, you know, you get the football one on two, you get to send defense more. I like can read that, you know, if it clears out and got to open based off zone, man, we'll take a shot. Now, how does how does the motion affect the defense in this one? These these unique motions in Canadian and also in the arena. Well, I mean, it's pretty simple. You get a guy that's running full speed at you. It's hard to cover, mm -hmm. and especially you got great athletes in the Canadian league. You get a lot of guys who can play some really good football. So it puts you know, especially an inside guy, you know, it sets up a mismatch. Mm -hmm. You know, linebackers and strong safeties. Finally, we went through, you know, traditional arena Canadian. Now we're back in the states. Team Florida, seven on seven. Let's get it. This is what we do um, with quarterbacks. You know, especially in this county, um, you know, we like to make it simple mm -hmm. but effective. So, play what I like to call. It's not a lot of verbiage. This is what I play. We call it DC. Mm -hmm. It's a man in his own beer. I like to run out of our open set. R here, Y is here, Z, W, and our X. Okay, we have our zone side here, we have our man side here. Good. Now, for when you say your man side and your zone side, mm -hmm. is that determining you know you're going to get man on one side and zone on, well, because of the numbers, you're going to get zone on? Or we, we, we uh, teach our quarterbacks to read pre snap. Okay. And a good coach taught me here this is your radical. We call it a radical. Mm -hmm. um, this guy comes in on the whip, he chases down, we understand his man. So I like our quarterback to peak over here. That guy comes down on his whip, we understand his man, we'll stay to his side. Mm -hmm. But if his zone, we'll peak it, we'll come back to our zone side and let it develop. Okay. So we have our flat, get that linebacker out of there, got the back on him, got a 10 yard dig. And we have a 12 yard dig coming behind it. So pretty much, we get cover three, his backer shoots. We we'll mm -hmm. find a throwing lane right in the hand zone. If not, you know, we're reading that middle backer. We don't like it, he squeezes that. We'll open up to that second dig. Corner falls off. We we'll hit that hit in that first window. Mm -hmm. This man, read over here, this corner. We're reading this. This corner, he comes down on the whip. We'll read it high low. Okay. So we'll read the whip. This guy here, he beats him. You know, or he falls off. We'll take, we'll take the whip off. They'll take a good six yards based off. It was the first and 10, mm -hmm. second and six, I like it. If not, you know, we see a mismatch out there. Mm -hmm. We'll take a shot, you know, with our slot guy. You know, that's pretty much DC right there, man. It's, it's a play that uh, I feel is pretty simple, but effective. And, uh, you know, you have your shot, you have your zone windows, you know, uh, your throwing lanes, mm -hmm. if, you, if you will, man. Uh, it's a good play. Now, play high school football. Now, you look at this right here, and I'm, I'm a big fan of, of uh, I call them, uh, replace routes. Yep. Where you have it, you did. And you know that people see him breaking routes. Yep. They go, oh, we got to scramble and get that. Not realize you have something coming behind it. Exactly. Is that the, the goal you're trying to accomplish? That's the concept. Okay. Because the quarterback, what he likes to do, if, you know, especially young quarterbacks, they don't like that. They like to get our eyes, and their eyes go to wonder, mm -hmm. and they'll come back here. I don't like our quarterback to do that. I like our quarterback to stay front side. Wherever he's at, stay front side. Okay. That keeps you out of trouble. So just in case, you know, we come down and that guy stays, and we don't like that first dig, or we don't like our flat, understand we got a second. All you gotta do is let it develop. Mm -hmm. And we'll hit that second dig, come across, in either the first or the second window. So, so when you say you want your quarterback to stay front side, a lot of people may say, Oh, he's staring down the field or staring down the target. That's not the case. Right, right. That's not the case at all. When we come out, first off, the eyes on the safety anyway, just to hold the safety depending right. on where he's at. But it's all about letting the play develop. So, 
You want to peak the safety, but you don't want to peak the safety too much. Mm -hmm. And then it's just about letting it develop. It doesn't matter what the defense think. It's about being effective and making the play work. And so you just got to trust your play. You got to trust your players. You got to trust the player. Expect them to be open. All right, well, we learned a lot here from traditional arena, Canadian, seven on seven. No wonder you're a good coach, good football player. We Thank appreciate you. you taking time. Thank you, man. Appreciate you having me.